I know what you were about to do before you clicked on this video. I know you're about to go on Twitter and make jokes about how Intel is still not on 7 nanometer, right? And I know you're about to go on Twitter and talk about how they're still on 40 nanometer plus 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 plus, right? And I know that you're about to go on there and smugly remind people that AMD is about to go to 5 nanometer while Intel will be stuck at 7 nanometers until the heat death of the universe, right? See, I'm a mind reader, I know these things. Well, even though those jokes are still uh, tragically true for the most part, they may need to be revisited soon because Intel has recently purchased some of TSMC's free nanometer capacity. But before we continue, let me translate that for people with actual social lives and like me. TSMC is one of the biggest chip manufacturers in the world. And the way they do their business is that companies like say Intel or Apple or AMD or pretty much anyone can go to them and purchase some capacity at a certain node. For example, say 3 nanometer, 5 nanometer, 7 nanometer, even 40 nanometer and of course older and bigger nodes as well. And now both Intel and Apple both purchased some of the capacity to allow them to produce 3 nanometer branded Intel and Apple chips. So, pretty exciting stuff, right? So what on earth does it mean for Intel, and when can we expect these magical 3 nanometer chips, seeing how they're still even struggling to get down to 7 nanometers? But the thing is, we may not actually have to wait that long, because one of the main reasons why they've been struggling to string the nodes is because they've been stubbornly sticking to their own fabs at home, instead of outsourcing the production to other companies like TSMC. So even if they already had tons of amazing and super powerful 10, 7, 5, 3 nanometer chip designs made, they're simply never able to produce them efficiently enough to supply, well, pretty much the whole world. Though it'll still probably take some time. The next gen Intel CPUs, 12th gen or the lake, is supposed to be 7 nanometer already. So you probably won't be seeing a jump from 7 nanometer to 3 nanometer so soon, simply because, well, they won't have enough time to fully design them, test them, and of course produce them. Because remember that designing a new CPU and then manufacturing it takes a super long time, and they have to plan out years in advance. So while the generation after Older Lake, so 13th gen, may not be 3 nanometer, it may not even be 5 nanometer and may still be stuck on 7 nanometer plus or whatever, but maybe the generation after that, 14th gen, so CPUs like the Core i9, 14900K, yeah that just rolls right out of the tongue, right? Those could be 3 nanometers, I could definitely see them creating a CPU by that point. And yes, I know I just said that designing a brand new CPU takes a long while, but if they already bought fab capacity, then it means they must ha at least have a pretty good and pretty final design for these 3 nanometer chips ready, if they are so eager to already be able to manufacture them with someone like TSMC. So odds are that this 3 nanometer chip is actually closer to completion than we might have originally thought. But let me know what you think of all of this, and if you are excited for Intel's 3 nanometer CPUs, I know I am, and hey, while you're still, and hey, while you're still here, maybe check out my channel's Patreon, which is gonna be down in the video description below. Because if you like this video and wanna see more awesome content on my channel, then Patreon helps a lot, even if it's just $1 a month. I'd also love to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan LKB, Meg Sumner, Blake the Rake, and Shane Allcroft. Thank you guys so, so much. Plus, down there, you're also gonna find Amazon Associates links, plus also our customs link if you want to get 5% off on the awesome customizable keyboards, plus then there's also our Discord server if you're going to talk to me or others like this or whatever else really, plus down there is our social media links as well. But anyway, that's our it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone, goodbye.